Hi, everyone. I'm Caitlin Huey Burns. Thank you for joining us. Rescue crews have resumed their tireless search through the rubble of the Surfside, Florida condo collapse. They had to pause their efforts Sunday night while explosives were used to bring down the remainder of the building. More than 100 families are still waiting on news about their loved ones. But as each day passes, their hopes are fading. No one has been brought out alive since the day of the collapse. CBS News correspondent Manuel Bajorquez has more from Surfside. Rescue workers resumed climbing mounds of debris at the site of the collapsed condo in Surfside. After explosives were used to bring down the last remaining section of the complex. They were on that pile that had been difficult for them to access, and so they're making a lot of progress. As teams expanded their search to areas that were previously inaccessible because of safety reasons, they discovered more bodies in the rubble. Since the first responders were able to resume their work on the collapse last night, we have very sadly recovered three additional victims. Tropical Storm Elsa partly prompted the demolition. Experts were concerned the rain and wind could crash the remaining section of the building. These uh, showers and thunderstorms will have some brief but gusty winds, and these winds could still be uh, quite strong. Twelve days after the collapse, officials acknowledge tearing down the high-rise marks another painful chapter for families. The weight of that building coming down, those buildings coming down, is on this entire community. And, and it's been a long ride for us. Destroying the building will also affect the investigation. It'll complicate it some because we will have to do it from new debris rather than from what's standing in the air. Officials say teams of scientists 